Hello there. Today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down Libera Me From Hell from Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan. Boom! Alright, we're starting with some lyrical voice along with some strings. Do the impossible, see the invisible, row, row, fight the power, touch the untouchable, break the unbreakable, what the row, hell row, is that? fight the power, <laughs> power to the peeps, power for the dreams, the missing piece, scattering so incomplete with me that no way this is happening. <laughs> that was crazy. Crazy good, actually. Yeah, this is hip hop straight from the 90s. 100%. I'm still stormy for the straight up skill. We're gonna make it happen with a crazy rap skill. You're ready to rumble. Now is the time. Uh huh. If you ain't know, now you know. The piano melody is pretty good. I think I've never I've never heard something like this. Like this specific section, yes, but mixing lyrical with hip hop, I don't think so. It's the drums that bring it so, make it way more modern. Sort of like a big beat pattern in the drums. This composer has gigantic balls. He was able to intertwine two seemingly opposite sides of music in an anime song with no Japanese lyrics. Now this is not particularly super unique, but it is very rare to hear songs mixing hip hop with classical music, especially with lyrical vocals. In my experience, a lot of the musical driving force uh, for opening themes in anime has been a rock and metal music. You know, they often have a lot of energy and upbeat rhythms. But Libera Me From Hell is not like that. It ditches the formula completely and goes in what could be considered perhaps in the anime world as forbidden territory. I would even say that the song is not necessarily an opening theme as the vibe of a song is a little bit on the gloomy side. But let's talk about the most important element in the song that glues everything together. The theme or the melody we hear in the piano is what's making all the right connections in between the orchestral parts and the hip hop parts. And even though perhaps it's the most simple piece of it, its influence is what makes this song flow seamless. One of my favorite hip-hop songs that have a classical theme in it is The Real Slim Shady from Eminem, where we can hear the melody played in an harpsichord, which gives it this giga baroque sound, but ultimately is peak hip-hop. Speaking of the lyrics, they are so aligned to the fundamental core of what hip-hop is. Struggle, oppression, and overcoming unsurmountable obstacles. Do the impossible, see the invisible, row, row, fight the power. Touch the untouchable, break the unbreakable, row, row, fight the power. That is the opening and it oozes everything that I mentioned before. This part alone leads me to believe that this song is trying to transmit courage and valor in a decisive moment in the story. 
while still preserving the threat or the conflict in the overall dark tone of the music. This is not California love, this is Dear Mama. As an addendum, I would like to mention that the line Fight the Power might be inspired by a song from Public Enemy of the same name. This song was huge in the 90s and was even referenced in movies. Fight the power. Dude, the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, find the power. Touch the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, find the power. Power to the peeps, power for the dreams. So mystic, this is gathering so incomplete. We be the most incredible soldier from underground. See how easy they all fall down. By the way, if you made it this far, thank you so much. So while you're at it, why don't you do the impossible and touch that like button? I think this is the, the recall for the hip hop part. Yeah, there it is. I have to look, uh, look for the lyrics, by the way. Yeah, like the phrasing in the hip in, in, in the bars. So 90s. Strings are adding so much tension right now. <laughs> They're both now. It's intertwined together now. Ultimately, I think it was a fantastic touch that the composer decided to write the hip-hop sections in the most 90s style possible, considering that the anime was released in 2007. Some people might consider this to be tacky or anachronic, but the truth is that all kinds of music reference other songs all the time. Especially on hip-hop, where the use of samples is a crucial part of the beard of the genre. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check this Red Dead Redemption 2 reaction that I did, right? I'll see you there.